the Missouri is officially reinstating film tax credits. This is by KFTV, which is the Kemp's Film TV video site. Uh, Missouri reinstating the film tax credit 10 years after it expired back in 2013. Governor Mike Parson signed a bill into law that will offer tax credits for the film and music industry later this year with an expiration date set for 2030. In order for recording artists to qualify for this, then they have to also do two concerts in the state of Missouri, said Gregory. So that can also happen for music videos and stuff for artists if they have concerts here. Now, Curtis Gregory is a state legislator. If you recognize his name, his name, he was an all-conference lineman for the University of Missouri. Wow. Uh, under the direction of Gary Pinkle. So the reason I bring this up, there's a huge deal, and it is a huge deal because at Niangua's Inn, we've talked about the film based out of here at Lake of the Ozarks. It was... Uh, created by Bo Shore and Chase Elliott, both former Lake TV staff members. Um, well, it actually got picked up by big Hollywood producer, Gina Goff, and uh, she's done some big stuff. She just got done doing one with um, William Shatner that won a, won a couple of awards. Captain Kirk, right? Captain yeah. Kirk. She yeah. also has worked on a recent movie with Christopher Lloyd and a handful of others, and she loved this. And uh, she put out, At Niangua's Inn has the feel of mud, where the crawdads sing in No Country for Old Men. If you enjoyed these movies or television shows like Bloodline or even Ozark, then you're going to enjoy this cinema cinematic love story to the Lake of the Ozarks and to Brotherhood. The movie will be shot at beautiful Lake of the Ozarks in the fall of 23, and we're planning on utilizing the new state of Missouri tax incentives. So this event we had Thursday at the Ozarks Amphitheater was the LO Profile Launch Social. They called it the On Stage uh, VIP event. And it was for their dual issue, the 2023 Annual Summer Boating Guide. And then this was pretty cool. Michael McDonald, you recognize that guy? Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is also your dining guy. But they had this speed painter, uh, Sergio Gutierrez, who speed painted hmm. Michael McDonald on stage and played some music. Gina Goff was there. Rebecca Rodman, who's Gina Goff's publicist, was there. Curtis Gregory, the Missouri legislator. Coach Pinkle was there. Bo Shore was there. It was just an incredible event. Uh, to, to celebrate Missouri, to celebrate the lake, to celebrate our venue and, and the film industry. And so I got to say to Missy, well done. Um, this has had to be her best social, this launch party. I mean, they're all nice, but this was great. And this is a really, really great issue. It's sophisticated. It's edgy. It's bold. It's the best darn magazine at Lake of the Ozarks. It's LO Profile, and it's on newsstands now. Don't miss this incredible issue. And for us, we're going to stay just waiting on this At Niangua's End because yeah. this is going to be a major motion film happening right here with two guys we know and big-time Hollywood producer Gina Goff.